welcome to Spartan Sasuke 23, the first tournament on Halo Infinite. Just a dismount remaining and Shadow Run with 3.3 seconds remaining becomes our first ever clear on Halo Infinite. Smokey gets a very good jump into that second hoop. Looking into the third hoop, Smokey comes up short! Smokey Massacre is out! Now for the big jump to the sixth ledge, Fireball comes up short of the sixth ledge, and that is it. Tournament 23 is over. The sun is shining bright for Spartan Sasuke 24, as 100 Spartans are ready to go here in the ultimate survival attack. At the start line of stage 1 is our first competitor, the newcomer June Style 69. His name is a spin on the Sasuke competitor June Sato. Sato is a very skilled competitor on Sasuke, but can June Style 69 live up to his name? I'll have 117 seconds to complete 9 obstacles beginning with the all new Golden Link. June Style heading into the second link, he gets into it nicely, but June he's a little all over the place and he falls off the second link. Ah, oh, such a shame. Not able to live up to his name at all. But next up we have Cloud Strife. Will he fare any better than June? 117 seconds, let's see how he does. Cloud Strife, he's going straight through the Golden Link, but he's gonna come up short of the dismount and gets caught on the bottom of the support. A little bit painful there. Up next we have Johnny Wick, another newcomer. Will he be the first to solve the Golden Link? He's gonna take more of a cautious approach here on this first Link. Taking his time going into the second one. Can he get the wrap around? He's taking his time looking to be the first through our new obstacle. And he is Johnny Wick heading to the slide hop. He'll be the first person since tournament four to attempt this obstacle. And Johnny Wick is going to come up short of the dismount. Ah, tough luck. Well, next up we have Red Bull Sucks 420. I take it this guy is not a very big fan of Max Verstappen. He's basically won every race in Formula 1, but Red Bull sucks. Does not suck at the first obstacle. He is going to attempt the slide hop. Can he be the first for this? He gets a very big jump and heads through onto our new obstacle, the Globe Twist, and he's going to come up short of the first Globe. And not quite as good as Max Verstappen. Next up, we have our first returning competitor. This is Assassin Man. Assassin Man making his third appearance. He failed the Pharaoh's Box last tournament. Let's see how he does today. Assassin Man on the Golden Link. Can he get through this obstacle? He's also going to slip off, much like June Stow earlier. And that leads us into our first fast forward. Jack Spawn fails the dismount of the Slide Hop. Crazy Horse failed the Golden Link, and then Vault Hunter failed the very first jump on the stage. And next up, we have a newcomer reigning from Greece. This is Nikolum. How will he do on his first appearance in Spartan Sasuke? He defeated on Smokey's course. How will he do on his Spartan Sasuke debut? Doing pretty good on the first obstacle. How will we do on the slide hop? Going quickly into the second obstacle. Nicolum nicely through that. And onto the globe twist. He's going to mount onto the first globe. Going straight for the third one. And he's all over the place. You gotta have good aim to reach each of those globes. And he just didn't have the aim. But now we have Emerald Dragon returning for his ninth appearance. He was last seen in Tournament 22, he missed the last tournament, but how will he do on his first run on Infinite? 
He failed the Rolly Hurdle in his last run in Tournament 22. How will Emerald do today? Emerald Dragon into the slide hop. Emerald Dragon is going to move on to the Globe Twist. No one has completed this new obstacle yet. Can Emerald Dragon be the first? He's going to take his time looking into the third globe. He gets into the third globe nicely, looking into the fourth, and oh no, Emerald Dragon is going to come up short of the fourth globe. Ah, tough luck. Next up, making his fifth appearance, this is Foamy Boy. Foamy Boy made it to the Jumping Spider last tournament. Let's see if he can get back there and take some revenge on that obstacle. Foamy Boy, heading through the Golden Link, taking a bit of time here, and he's going to go for the dismount. Foamy Boy heading towards the slide hop. He's gonna go down to shoot, and Foamy Boy gets a slide for that dismount. Can he figure out the globe twist though? He's gonna go to the left side this time. Who gets a slide there? You wanna be really careful with the slide here in Infinite. It can screw you over if you're not careful. But Foamy Boy is going to be the first for the globe twist. Now heading into the jumping spider. The bouncer is back for this tournament, but it's a little different. You have to jump off it now, and Foamy Boy is going to come up short of the ledge. He may have jumped a little too late and run away. Sakello did not even get a jump. And then we had Crazy Car failing the first jump as well. Gabriel at least beat the first jump, but screwed up on the second jump. And then Sunlight, Sunlit Key fails the slide hop. Well, that is 15 competitors down. Next up, we have Fragile NW. Fragile, he's very good friends with Free MMO Direct. He'll be running a bit later, but now Fragile making his debut on Spartan Sasuke. A bit of spoilers for Halo Ninja Warrior, but the first episode is out. Hopefully you've seen that, but Fragile did clear Stage 1 in Halo Ninja Warrior 26. Could he do the same here in his Spartan Sasuke debut? Fragile taking his time here on the Globe Twist. He's gonna speed it up for the dismount. Fragile heading to the Jumping Spider. We just saw Foamy go out here. Can Fragile get through it? He's gonna take his time on the bouncer and gets a very good jump into the first ledge. Can he handle the inside of the spider? Looking down to the drop, Fragile is going to be the first person since Tournament 8 to attempt the Halfpipe attack. He goes for the clean and he comes up short of the bar. Not able to quite get that landing at all. But now we move on to Game Man Gaming YT, or GG as we like to call him. He failed Pharaoh's Box last tournament. How will he do today? GG heading quickly through the Golden Link, heading to the Slide Hop. GG would love to get through the Globe Twist. This obstacle was not here last tournament. Ooh, it's, a, it's a close call on that first globe, but GG is handling the rest of this obstacle quite nicely. GG heading to the Jumping Spider. We just saw Fragile get through it. Can GG do the same? Yes, he's going to get into the first ledge at least. He gets into the second one, almost comes up short, but he is going to come up short of the third one. Uh, a little all over the place on the inside. But we spoke of Free MMO Direct earlier. He is next to take on the course. He made his debut in the last tournament where he failed the Eclipse Prism, which was the fifth obstacle in Tournament 23. This time around, it's been replaced with an even tougher obstacle, the Half Pipe Attack. It has a brand new twist this tournament, which Fragile wasn't quite able to attempt, but can free MMO get there? He is on the Globe Twist right now, heading through the right side of the obstacle, free MMO Direct. Heading to the Jumping Spider, he beat this obstacle last tournament. Can MMO do it again? He's going to take his time here on the trampoline. Goes for the jump, and he's going quickly for this inside of the spider. MMO perfectly through the jumping spider. Can he be the first to solve the half pipe attack? He's going to head into it, and MMO is going to come up even shorter than his friend Fragile. Ah, what a shame. Once again, out in the fifth obstacle. 
Up next, we have Wild Sasuke 67. This guy was formerly known as Game Show MC 67. Changed his gamer tag shortly after he did his run for Tournament 23. Last tournament, he failed the Pharaoh's Box. Wild Sasuke threw the Golden Link. How will he do on the slide hop? Wild Sasuke is going to jump into the window and makes it across. On now to the Globe Twist. He's oh almost comes up short of the first ball. Another close call on that. Heads into the second globe, taking a lot of time here on the globe twist. Wild Sasuke looking into the fourth globe. Oh, he does not even get a jump. Wild Sasuke out on the globe twist. And up next, we had Ivar Scars, who got scarred by the first obstacle. The real Lozart comes up short of the first globe on the globe twist. Gaskell fails the slide hop. And then Dragonborn was not a dragon on the Golden Link. Shroom D came up short of the dismount of the slide hop. And then Melee failed getting into the second link. Well, that's a quarter of our field already down. Next up, another gamer chat gamer tag change. This is Schwarz TCG, formerly known as Duke of Deuce, which before that he was known as Lord of Ooh. Uh, Schwarz failed the jumping spider last tournament. Can he get back there? Schwarz TCG heading into the slide hop, an obstacle he has not attempted since he did not compete in tournaments 3 through 4. He did compete in tournament 1, which was a very long time ago, but now Schwarz heading through the globe twist and he's going to slightly overshoot the third globe. Just a little too much momentum there. Now we have Fix the Wi-Fi making his third appearance. He had a bit of a weird fail in the last tournament. He failed in the platform in between the Eclipse Prism and the Warp Wall. Hopefully trying to prevent that same mistake from happening again. Would love to at least get to the Warp Wall this tournament. But right now Fix the Wi-Fi is on the Globe Twist. Speeding through the left side of this obstacle, fix the Wi-Fi is gonna complete the obstacle. Now for the jumping spider, fix the Wi-Fi, goes for the jump and makes it in. Going quickly for this inside section, but he's gonna slide off the fourth one and come up short of the fifth ledge. Uh, maybe should have taken his time a bit there in that inside. But now we have High I'm Galactic. Galactic failed the Pharaoh's Box last tournament. How will he do on his fourth appearance? He wore number one in his debut in Tournament 21. Galactic taking his time here on the Golden Link. Ooh, bit of a weird jump for that dismount, but still gets the momentum he needed. Galactic, how will he handle the slide hop? He heads down and across. Now for the Globe Twist. Failed the Pharaoh's Boss last tournament. That was the third obstacle. Can he get through this third obstacle? Galactic, no he cannot! He's gonna come up well short of that second globe. But now we have Spartan Walnut 71. Spartan Walnut is on his landmark 10th appearance on Spartan Sasuke. Walnut failed the Jumping Spider last time. Got 117 seconds, let's see how he does. Walnut. He is heading through the Golden Link. He is a member of the MC Gang B-Ball uh, team, which are doing pretty good at the moment. But right now, Spartan Walnut is on the Globe Twist. How will he handle this new obstacle? Spartan Walnut taking his time going into the third globe. Now for the fourth, he's going to make it. One more Spartan, come on. He's got that fifth globe nicely. Spartan Walnut 71. It's got 80 seconds for the Jumping Spider. This is where he failed in the last tournament. Can he get through it this time? Spartan Walnut comes up short of the jump into the first ledge. Ah, tough break. But now, competitor number 30. Next up, we have Blaze Yahaze. Or Jonte, as we like to call him. He had a bit of a tragic fail on the Jumping Spider last tournament. He got repelled by the fifth ledge, hoping to get through it today. 
This guy has had multiple fails on the Jumping Spider in the past. But how will he do here on his 17th appearance? Blaze Hayes is into the Jumping Spider. If you do hear any background noise, that is because it is raining right now. But enough of that. Blaze Hayes, it is time to face the Jumping Spider. Can he get his revenge? Blaze Hayes. Oh, just a horrible jump off the bouncer. Oh, that was very rough. It looked like he clipped the front of it. But then we had Crop who walked onto the bar. If you walk on that bar, that is a DQ, and he does go into the kill barrier anyways. Hexabyte, unfortunately, is gonna do the same thing. But Malfi Carnival overshot the trampoline of the Jumping Spider. Got a little further, at least. JC Cluckin clut down on the slide hop. But now we have El Booker Taco making his fifth appearance on the course. He made his debut back in Tournament 20. And we're going to skip ahead to the Jumping Spider. El Booker Taco's already got less than a minute left on the clock. He spent a lot of time on the first three obstacles. Hence why we bit cut him here. But El Booker Taco gets a safe jump on the fifth ledge. And he's going to complete the Jumping Spider. He failed the Eclipse Prism last tournament. How will he handle the half pipe attack? He's going to come up short of the bar. Nobody has been able to figure out this obstacle yet. But could Robotic Pi do so? Robotic Pi did pretty well last tournament. He made it all the way to the Joust Clash. A lot of people did get pretty far last tournament. 33 people in total beat the Warp Wall in tournament 23. Robotic Pie would love to continue some of that success here in Tournament 24 and hopefully clear Stage 1 for his first time. Would love to see some new success here. Robotic Pie going quickly through the Globe Twist. Now heading to the Jumping Spider. How will he handle this? Robotic Pie, can he get the jump into the first ledge? Yes, he can, Robotic Pie. Taking this time here on the inside of the Jumping Spider. Can he get the drop down to the fifth ledge? Comfortable jump off and Robotic Pie. Can he be the first to solve the half pipe attack? Robotic Pie, he gets into the bar, but can he get the grapple hook? This is a new feature here on Halo Infinite, and it's the new twist here on the half pipe attack. Robotic Pie is gonna beat the half pipe attack. On now to the warp wall. Robotic Pi is not able to get up in one. It's a lot smaller, this warp wall, than the one we saw last tournament. But it requires a lot more skill to get up it. And Robotic Pi is struggling a lot with this warp wall. He's got less than 40 seconds left on the clock. Robotic Pi needs to get up this warp wall soon. Or else he's not going to have enough time to reach the end. Robotic Pi's got less than 30 seconds. He needs to hustle here on the Joust Clash. This is where he failed in the last tournament. He gets into the ledge, but cannot get the corner jump. Robotic Pie. I don't know if he would have had enough time to clear, but he once again fails to Joust Clash. On to competitor number 37. This is Spinny37. Back for appearance number 17. He's competed in every tournament since tournament 8. He failed the Eclipse Prism last tournament. Spinny37 is 0 for 16 on the first stage, looking to clear stage 1 for his first time still on this course. He saw a bit of success on some of the other courses later on in Halo 5's lifespan, but is yet to find that success here on Spartan Sasuke. Spinny would love to change that narrative today as he heads to the Jumping Spider. How will Spinny do? He's going to take his time on the trampoline, gets a lot of height for that jump. You want height for that, and he got it. Spinny37 looking down to the drop. He's going to jump down to the ledge, and Spinny37 running to the half pipe attack. Spinny37, can he get the jump like Robotic Pie? Yes, he can. Can he handle the grapple? He's going to hug that wall, and he's going to make the jump nicely. He's got 55 seconds for the warp wall. Spinny37 gets up it in one that's definitely going to help him on time. Should be plenty heading for these last three obstacles beginning with the Joust Clash. Gets into the ledge. Can he corner jump? Yes he can! Spinny37 will be the first to attempt to pit stop this tournament. 
Finney. Going into the second cone. Heading into the third cone. He gets it. Fourth cone. Fifth cone, but he overshoots it. No, Spinny 37 set his personal best here, but falls short of clearing Sage 1. He was so close to beating the pit stop, but just overshot the fifth cone. That is such a shame. But now we have Halo Fan. Halo Fan, like Robotic Pie earlier, made it to the Joust Clash last tournament. Halo Fan is a bit concerned that he may fail the Rogue Jungle this tournament. He was obsessing over this pattern of failing two obstacles later than his previous appearance. Hopefully that won't be the case today. Halo Fan is on the Globe Twist. Picking up the pace here on these later Globes. Halo Fan, he's been competing since Tournament 22. Can he get through the Jumping Spider? Halo fan, yes he can get into the first ledge and the second, and the third, and the fourth. Can he get the jump down to the fifth ledge? Yes, he gets a safe jump. Halo fan, on now to the half pipe attack. So we saw a lot of success on this obstacle recently. Can Halo be the third person in a row to get through the half pipe attack? Gets a bit of a low grapple, but gets a lot of height, and he's gonna complete the half pipe attack. Halo fan's got a less than a minute. For the warp wall, and he's up it in one. Halo fan, how do you do on the Joust Clash? This is where he fell last tournament. Can Halo fan get through it? A bit of lag there, but Halo fan gets a weird jump onto that ledge. But Halo fan nevertheless gets through the Joust Clash. But now for the pit stop, we just saw Spinny go out here. Can Halo fan be the first through the pit stop? He's taking his time. Gets a safe jump off the tire. Ooh. Having a bit of a slip up there on that third one. But Halo Fan taking a bit more careful approach here on the pit stop. And it's going to pay off. He's onto the rope jungle. He is really worried about this obstacle. But can he get through it and be our first clear of the tournament? He's got the time. Halo Fan is going to be the first person to clear in tournament 24. With 11.3 seconds remaining on the clock. Halo Fan 17, 64, 61, a whole bunch of numbers. He's gonna move on to the second stage for his first time on Spartan Sasuke. He had a bit of a close call on the half pipe attack and the joust clash, but Halo Fan was able to complete all nine obstacles on stage one, and he'll be moving on to the second stage. Well done, Halo Fan! And now we move on to Daddy Cheese making his 15th appearance. The veteran last seen in Tournament 22 making his first run on Halo Infinite. Daddy Cheese, his one and only clear on the first stage came way back in Tournament 13. He'd love to pick up another clear here in Tournament 24. Let's see how Cheese does. Daddy Cheese, formerly known as Cheese's Life, is now heading towards the globe twist. Daddy Cheese going quickly for the right side of the obstacle. Gets a weird slide on that fourth globe, but Daddy Cheese is through the globe twist. On now to the jumping spider. He failed the captain swing in tournament 22 and falls short of the trampoline here in tournament 24. Ouch. But next up, we have the host of Ninja Warrior of Roblox. This is Bubba Ace. Last time he failed the Jumping Spider. Let's see how he does here on his 16th appearance. Bubba Ace has been hosting his course on Roblox for 10 years, which is just crazy to think about. Right now, Bubba Ace heading to the slide hop. Taking his time here for this obstacle. A bit hesitant. Come on, Bubba. You got this. Bubba Ace heading to the globe twist. He's going to get onto the first globe. Still taking his time. Bubba, not a particularly fast competitor here on these courses. Ooh, just a weird slide on that third globe. But Bubba has never really been known for his speed. Could that bite him here if he is thinking about clearing? But he's got this jumping spider to get through first. Can Bubba get through it? Bubba is gonna go for the obstacle, makes it into the first ledge nicely. 
Bubba looking into the second ledge. Can he get the jump? Barely. He gets into it. Onto the third ledge. Looking into the fourth ledge. Bubba Ace cannot make it into the fourth ledge. He is going to come up short. Couldn't quite get the height he needed. After him, we had Jai Salmon go out on the slide hop. Kai Lua failed getting into the globe twist. Faithable One gets into the first ledge of the jumping spider, but couldn't quite do the same for the second ledge. After him, we had Grin Ejin failing the first jump, as well as Gunner with a whole bunch of random numbers. Well, that leads us on to Demi Dodds. He was se last seen in Tournament 24, went out on the Jumping Spider. Demi Dodds is, even though he hasn't had too much success on any course, he's always a guy you love to root for. Demi Dodds, been around in jumping since 2017. He joined via the Halo Basketball League. And was able to get into jumping as well. But right now, Demi Dodds heading into the globe twist. It's a new obstacle. How will he do? Demi Dodds heading to the fourth globe. Fifth globe. Demi Dodds is through the globe twist. And now for the jumping spider. He has failed this obstacle before. Can Demi get through it today? No, he's not. He's going to overshoot the trampoline. Ah, tough luck. But now we have Cobra, a man who is very familiar with the Jumping Spider and the water below it. He has failed the Jumping Spider in three of his previous four appearances, including last tournament. The one time he did not fail the Jumping Spider, he cleared Stage 1. That was back in Tournament 21. Cobra has seen a lot of success on other courses. Would love to see some more of that success here on Spartan Saste. But right now, Cobra heading through the globe twist, and now his nemesis, the jumping spider, Cobra. He's going to take this time on the trampoline, backing up quite a bit. Can he get into the first ledge? Yes, he can. He gets the slide. Cobra looking into the third ledge, looking into the fourth ledge now. Cobra, can he get the drop? Yes, he can. That's the second time he's gotten through the jumping spider. And now for the half pipe attack. Cobra gets into the ledge nicely. Can he get the grapple? He presses the wrong button. That or he just couldn't quite connect with his grapple. Ah, tough luck. But now we have Volcanic Crowd 5. He failed the jumping spider last tournament. Can Volcanic Crowd get far today? Volcanic Crowd. Taking this time here on the Golden Link. Volcanic Heading now to the slide hop. He made his debut in tournament 19, but has been competing on Smokey's course for longer than that. Right now, Volcanic Crowd 5 is into the globe twist. This third obstacle, he's gonna take his time, Volcanic, into the third lobe. Now for the fourth. Looking into the fifth. Volcanic is not gonna make it to the fifth globe. Ah, uh, feels even earlier than last tournament. But next, hoping to recover from an early fail last tournament, this is Avals the Samurai. Avals cleared the, s the first stage in tournament 21 with the closest ever clear on stage 1. He timed up in tournament 22, but in the last tournament, he tragically failed the Pharaoh's Box. Would love to get further today. Avals the Samurai into the globe, twi globe twist. This is the position where he failed last tournament. If he wants revenge, he's gonna need to get through this obstacle. Avals the Samurai taking his time here on the fourth globe. And he's gonna get into the fifth globe, and he at least gets further than he did last tournament. Well done. Avals the Samurai now for the jumping spider. Avals, can he get into the ledge? Backing up quite a bit. Avals, not able to quite get into it. He might have jumped a little too early. But now rounding out the first half of the field is Gotenks. The commissioner of the Halo Basketball League made his debut in Tournament 7 and has competed in every tournament since. Despite reaching the final stage three times on Halo Ninja Warrior, his luck has been anything but that here on Spartan Sasuke. 
Gotenks has been nicknamed the unluckiest competitor on this course because he is 0 for 17 on the first stage. Eight of these runs saw him reach the warp wall, and each of these fails were more painful than the last. In Tournament 22, he failed the Jumping Spider, and would unfortunately do the same in the last tournament and replicated his Tournament 7 debut run. Will his 18th appearance bring him that lick of luck he's been searching deeply for? Or will it be another case of the Gotenks Blues? He is wearing blue armor after all, but let's see if he can find a pot of gold at the end of the stage. Gotenks would love to avoid going 0 for 18. Gotenks, he has failed the first obstacle before, but that was a long, long time ago. Gotenks comfortably flew through the slide hop as well. Now for the globe twist, we've seen some competitors struggle with this obstacle, but how will Gotenks do? Gotenks gets into the third globe, looking into the fourth, he's got it, one more, come on Gotenks! Gotenks is going to complete the globe twist. Can he get his revenge on the jumpy spider? He's failed it in both the previous two tournaments. Gotenks taking his time here on the trampoline. He's gonna get a lot of height off that trampoline and comfortably into the first and the second ledges. Gotenks taking a lot of time on this inside of the jumpy spider. Doesn't want to waste too much time. He's already down to less than a minute. Gotenks really low on time. He needs to hustle. Gotenks now for the half pipe attack. He faced it way back in Tournament 8, but he's going to come up short of the bar. Go Taints, yet again out on the first stage. Even if he did get through the half-pipe attack, I don't know if he would have had enough time to clear. But Go Taints comes up well short of that bar. But Johnny Boy failed the globe twist. Another orange Spartan Sly Cooper 97 fails the globe twist as well. Iceman got iced by the slide hop. And then King of Hell for the Knight of Hell 421, sorry, got through the globe twist. Well, didn't get through the globe twist. He failed the globe twist. And then Grim something failed the Golden Link as well as Orbital Howler. And we're on to competitor number 57. This is Disappoint. Disappoint. Disappointed himself on the Joust Clash last tournament. Okay, that is a horrible pun. I'm gonna try to avoid making that pun as much as I can. But right now, Disappoint heading into the slide hop. He did do pretty well in his debut last tournament, but can he take the next step and clear stage one? Disappoint. On now to the globe twist. Heading quickly for the left side of the obstacle. Disappoint now for the jumping spider. Got 90 seconds, let's see how he does here. Beat it last tournament, but how will he handle the bouncer? He's never faced one! And he gets a safe jump onto the first ledge nicely. Disappoint. At a much quicker pace than Gotenks was. And like Gotenks, he is through the jumping spider. But can he get through the half pipe attack? This has been a brutal obstacle so far. But Disappoint is gonna make it into the bar nicely. Can he get the grapple? Yes, he can. Disappoint, can he stick the landing? Ni nicely done, he's got less than a minute for the warp wall. Heading through, up and in one. Time to get some revenge here on the Joust Clash. Can he do it? Disappoint, driving the Mongoose down the track. He's gonna jump off the right side of the Mongoose and gets this jump nicely. He gets in the, he gets the corner jump nicely as well. Disappoint, he's got 35 seconds for the pit stop. He's got a chance to clear here. Gets a safe jump on the second one. Heading quickly into the fourth one. Another safe jump. Fifth one. Disappoint. Is one obstacle away. Into the rope. Jungle, but he comes up short of the first rope. Disappoint. Like many last tournament, failed getting into the first rope of the rope jungle. Disappoint. I hate to make that joke again, but that was disappointing on that last obstacle. Ah, so close. Yet so far away. Up next, we have Tun V101, another guy who made his debut in the last tournament and did pretty well. This guy got even further than Disappoint last tournament, getting all the way to the pit stop. 
10 ton V101. Do the same here in tournament 24. And through the side hop, now for the globe twist. He gets in that first globe. He's into the second, the third, fourth, fifth. Ton V101 is through the globe twist. On out to the jumping spider. Ton, ton V101, he beat it last tournament. Let's see if he can do it again. Gets plenty of height for that jump. Heading into the second ledge. He's got that jump into the third ledge. Ooh, taking his time here on the inside, but he is going to get through the jumping spider. Ton V101, can he handle the half pipe attack? Ton V101 gets the jump into the bar. Gets the grapple, but disengages really early and comes up short. Oh, that was terrible. I don't know what happened there, but that is so unfortunate. Now we have the newcomer, Neon Ace 33 of a whole bunch of X's. Seems like an old gamer tad you see back in the early 360 days. One of those, like, edgy teens, but, uh, well, now the first obstacle that. What a noob. Now we have Sekeshi. Sekeshi set his personal best in the last tournament. He got all the way to the Joust Flash. Sekeshi, he's been around for a long time. He's been around since the days of Halo Reach. But now Sekeshi heading into the slide hop. This guy, he likes to play a lot of Fall Guys. But now Sekeshi, can he use those Fall Guys skills here on Tournament 24? I mean... Both Halo jumping and Fall Guys involves obstacles, but Sakeshi's gonna slide off the third obstacle. Ah, stumbling on my words there. Silent Shadow stumbled on the slide hop. Insomniac failed the glow twist. Lenny Frank would fail the dismount of the slide hop as well. Little Rose, another casualty on the globe twist. Doing a moronic move heading into the kill barrier. Switch Cat failed the slide hop. Ben Boo the Pro got booed off that obstacle. And then Mega Warrior Sam 4 also fails the Golden Link. Up next, we have the 16 time Raidler. This is Wolf Ninja 1225. He got pretty deep into the first stage last tournament, but could not quite get the job done. He failed the pit stop la last tournament. But Wolf Ninja has cleared stage one multiple times here in Spartan Sasuke. But his last clear came a bit, quite a few years ago. Tournament 18 to be exact. Wolf Ninja would love to clear stage one for his fourth time. Wolf Ninja taking his time here on the globe twist nothing wrong with that at all as long as you're able to get the jumps wolf ninja heading to the jumping spider can he get through this obstacle wolf ninja is gonna head into the first ledge he gets into it but cannot get into the second ledge wolf ninja not able to get through the jumping spider today tough luck but now we have i'm so shit faced Shift, he failed the first obstacle last tournament. It's a different one this time. It's the Golden Link, and Shift is going to fail again. What a noob. But now we have someone who is not a noob. We have Eternal Flame. Eternal Flame nearly cleared stage one in his debut last tournament. But like many, he failed the final obstacle of stage one, the Rope Jungle. Can Eternal Flame get the job done today? Would love to join Halo Fan on the second stage. He is feeling pretty lonely at the moment. We have not seen a lot of success this tournament, especially compared to this point last tournament. But Eternal Flame heading into the Jumping Spider, carrying that Needler around through into the obstacle. Eternal Flame into the fourth ledge gets a drop down to the fifth one nicely on out to the half pipe attack eternal flame is gonna get a good jump into it don't pull a ton v101 eternal he's gonna get a good grapple this time eternal flame is through the half pipe attack on out to the warp wall eternal flame up it in one eternal flame got for the joust clash last tournament let's see if he can do it again 
Eternal Flame gets into the ledge nicely and he's gonna jump around to the right side of the obstacle. And he is gonna complete it. 45 seconds for the pit stop. He's into the first one, gets the safe jump. He is gonna get another safe jump on the second one. Taking him a careful approach here on the pit stop. But very smart with it as Eternal Flame. He is going to mount into the first rope of the rump rope jungle, unlike last tournament. And Eternal Flame, can he get the job done? Looking for the dismount, Eternal Flame is through stage one with 17.8 seconds left on the clock. A really fast time on the first stage. And for his first time, Eternal Flame 395 is moving on to the second stage. What an excellent run by Eternal Flame. He'll be joining Halo Fan. He got his revenge on the rope jungle that took him out last tournament. He wasn't going to fail it again. He is going to move on to the second stage. Congratulations, Eternal. After him, we have Valid Hydra going out on the globe twist. When Dingo Morn failed the slide hop. People would learn how to crouch. Probably Host made it all the way to the halfpipe attack, but failed to use the actual halfpipe itself. The Knightly got mm, said goodnight on the globe twist. Junajo failed the golden link. And that brings us down to 25 competitors left to run. The sun now beginning to set here at Mount Midoriyama as we get ready for these last few runs. Up next, we have the newcomer Kyle Chambed 2, a very dedicated guy who has been looking forward to his first run for a long time. How will Kyle Chambed do on his debut? Kyle through the first obstacle. On now to the slide hop. Kyle Chambed 2 is through the second obstacle. On now to the globe twist. Kyle Chambed 2. He competed in Smokey's most recent tournament. Now making his debut, Kyle Chambet 2. Moving to the Jumping Spider. Kyle, he's gonna take his time on the trampoline as he makes it into the second ledge. Third ledge. Fourth ledge. Fifth ledge! Oh, not quite! Kyle Chambet 2 sl slips off the fifth ledge. He was really close to defeating this obstacle. But as we can see here, he had just a little too much momentum and couldn't quite stick the ledge. Up next, we have the veteran and host of Irish Warrior, Crown Ferret 19. Irish has been competing since Tournament 14. His first five runs all resulted in Stage 1 failures, but in Tournament 19, he cleared Stage 1 for the first time. He's yet to complete the second stage, his personal best being the medal spin in Tournament 22, but in the last tournament, he would have a shocking early exit going out on the Jumping Spider. Irish, now on his 11th appearance, is looking to overcome his rough first go on Halo Infinite and pick up his fourth clear on Stage 1. Irish had a lot of success on his course on Infinite, Irish looking to do the same on my course. Crown Ferret 19. Onto the slide hop. An obstacle he's never attempted before, but it's another obstacle he's never attempted before the globe twist. Crown Ferret, he's gonna take his time here on the globe twist. He's never been known for his speed, but Crown Ferret is through the globe twist. And on now to the jumping spider where he failed last tournament. We saw Kyle Chambade 2 go out here just earlier. Crown Ferret 19 taking a lot of time on that trampoline. He gets into the first ledge nicely. Crown Ferret. Can he defeat the Jumping Spider? He's into the fourth ledge. And he does get the fifth ledge this time. Crown Ferret 19 moving on to the half pipe attack. This has been a pretty tough obstacle. But Crown Ferret is looking to get through it. Hugging the wall. Ooh, bit of a weird grapple there, but it still gives him the height. But now, onto the warp wall. He does need to get up the warp wall. He is starting to run a bit low on time. He is not up it in one. 
and fails in, on his second go. Irish does get up and in three go though, but the clock is ticking. Crown Ferret 19 needs to move here on the Joust Clash. Irish gets into the ledge, but can he get the corner jump? No, he cannot! Crown Ferret 19 once again out on the first stage. It's better than last tournament, but he still fails. This time going out on the corner jump of the Joust Clash. You can still do it. If you go for it, you can do it. There it is. Oh no. I was rushing. I was rushing. He's rushing. But the corner jump. He's, uh... he's checklist of Arcan. Irish, hopefully he'll find better luck in Tournament 25. And now we move on to Snaz. Snaz made it all the way to the pit stop last tournament. And the tournament before, he cleared stage one for only his second time, breaking a long losing streak, having not cleared since tournament three. Snaz would love to pick up his third clear here in tournament 24. Snaz, even though he's a bit older, he's one of the most dedicated people in this community. Snaz puts in a lot of practice for these tournaments. Heading through the globe twist, Snaz, bit of a close call on that fourth globe, but he does get the jump off. Snaz heading towards the jumping spider. Snaz, a bit worried about this obstacle, let's see how he does. Snaz, he's gonna take a lot of time lining up for this jump. Snaz, he's a bit far and comes up short of the first ledge. Snaz has failed stage one for his 20th time, the first competitor on Spartan Sasuke to do so. He was a bit too far on that trampoline and couldn't quite get in. Now making his first run on Halo Infinite is Weapon Matt. Matt's been competing on Spartan Sasuke since Tournament 2. He cleared in his first two appearances, but wouldn't clear again until Tournament 10. In Tournament 12, he cleared Stage 3 for the first time. However, he wouldn't get back there until Tournament 21, where he was undone by the Lunatic Cliffhanger. In his last appearance in Tournament 22, he overcame the Cliffhanger, but like many, he would fail the Iron Thrones. Weapon Map missed the previous tournament, but now returns for Tournament 24. He couldn't put in as much practice for this run, but will his strong skills from the late days of Halo 5 carry over to Halo Infinite? Weapon Matt, he reached the final stage on so many courses in those final two years on Halo 5, including Halo Ninja Warrior 25, but he's yet to do so here on Spartan Sasuke. He's got a long road to get there here in this tournament, because right now, he's on the globe twist. Weapon Matt, the sun shining bright on his eyes, cannot let that distract him here as he runs towards the jumping spider. Weapon Matt has defeated this obstacle many times before. Will today be another one of those days? Weapon Matt looking pretty comfortable here on the Jumpy Spider so far. And he's gonna get through the obstacle. Now for the half pipe attack. He is really worried about this obstacle. A lot of competitors are worried about this half pipe in this tournament. But Weapon Matt, he gets the grapple. Can he stick the landing? Yes, he can. Weapon Matt. Heading to the warp wall. Weapon Matt, he does get up it in one like Irish. But now Weapon Matt, heading into the Joust Clash, an obstacle he's never attempted before. Weapon Matt, can he get the corner jump? Weapon Matt, yes he can! He's got less than 40 seconds as he completes the Joust Clash. Now for an obstacle he is familiar with, this is the pit stop. Weapon Matt. Heading for this obstacle quickly, he does get a safe jump on that fourth one. And Weapon Matt, can he defeat the first stage again? He, ooh, gets a safe jump on that first rope. Bit of a close call there, considering all the competitors have failed at last tournament. But Weapon Matt, looking to not be another one of them. Weapon Matt, has got less than 10 seconds, but that's not going to phase him. He's got 7.5 seconds left on the clock. And Weapon Matt, for his 10th time on Spartan Sasuke has cleared the first stage and it's the third this tournament moving on to stage two weapon Matt he was away in the last tournament as he is much busier with his life 
but that did not phase him. Weapon Matt on his first run on Halo Infinite will be moving on to the second stage. Well done, Weapon Matt. Up next, we have Mighty Max 80 on his 18th appearance. Last tournament, Mighty failed the pit stop. He almost completed the obstacle, but tragically failed the dismount. And the tournament before, he failed the warp wall. Mighty Max hoping to not have three stage one fails in a row, considering how much success he's had before, including reaching the final jump of the third stage back in tournament 20. Right now, Mighty Max 80 on to the Globe Twist. Mighty has not had success yet here on Infinite. Will today be Mighty's lucky day? Mighty Max 80 into the Jumping Spider. Taking a bit of time lining up for this obstacle. Let's see how he does. Mighty Max 80 cannot get into the first ledge. Mighty Max 80 out on the Jumping Spider. Now 20 competitors left to run. Up next we have Gaming Brando. This guy was formerly known as Locombs in the last tournament where he cleared the first stage. He failed the double compressor last tournament but now Gaming Brando is heading through the Golden Link. Brando heading up towards the slide hop. Brando he's gonna get through that obstacle now for the globe twist it's the new obstacle let's see how he handles it you mean Brando is gonna take his time speeding up here for these later jumps right now gaming Brando heading to the jumping spider we just saw Mighty Max go out here come on Brando don't fail it taking his time here on the trampoline a lot of time gaming Brando is gonna get the safe jump Makes it into the first ledge unlike Mighty Max. Gaming Brando into the fourth ledge and gets the drop once again. Brando now on to the half pipe attack. He's got a minute left. Gaming Brando gets into that bar nicely. Can he get the grapple hook? He's going to get a really nice grapple. He's got 50 seconds going into the warp wall. He might want to get up this warp wall soon. He is able to get up in one. That's definitely going to help him here on these last three obstacles. On now to the Joust Clash. Gaming Brando gets into the ledge nicely. Looking into the corner jump. Ooh, a little all over the place there. But he does get the jump successfully. He's got less than 30 seconds for the pit stop. He's into the first one. Gets the safe jump. Gets the second one nicely. Third one. Fourth one, but he overshoots it. Gaming Brando not able to replicate his success from the last tournament. Fails near the end of the stage going out on the fourth cone of the pit stop. Just slightly overshoots it. Probably should have gone for the save there but uh, such a shame. But after that we had R2D2. Very clever gamer tag. Not very clever on the golden link. Then we had the Godfather going out on the golden link as well. He was anything but a god. Brights got fervor. He made it to the globe twist. Ace Gamer okay. He was not okay on the jumping spider. Speedy M Hammerhead had a very speedy exit on the golden link. Victory BR did not have a victory at all. And then T Camel also failed the golden link. But now we are down to just 12 competitors left to go. And only three people have cleared the first stage. But now we move on to one of our best competitors. It is an all-star. The first all-star to run tonight is Alpha Puma. Puma has been around since the first tournament. His career on Spartan Sasuke got off to a strong start, reaching the third stage in his first two appearances. Tournament 5, he was crowned one of the first five all-stars, but he failed stage 1 in 9 of his first 11 runs since becoming an all-star. He finally got back on track in Tournament 16, but would not compete in the following two tournaments. In Tournament 20, he failed the Jumping Spider. However, his last two runs on Halo 5 saw him reach the second stage, bringing his stage 1 clear count up to 10. 
but in the last tournament, he would once again fail the inside of the Jumpy Spider. Today, Puma is making his 22nd appearance on Spartan Sasuke and would love to get his first clear on Halo Infinite. He was able to clear on other courses here on Infinite, but can he do so here on Spartan Sasuke? Alpha Puma looking to bring his clear record up to 50-50 on Spartan Sasuke, get his 11th clear on the first stage. Right now, Alpha Puma on to the Globe Twist. Alpha Puma going quickly through the right side of this obstacle. Alpha Puma nicely through the Globe Twist. But can he get through the Jumpy Spider? This is where he failed in two of the previous four tournaments. Puma gets into the first ledge nicely, but not the second ledge! Alpha Puma, no! Once again, out on the Jumpy Spider for the third time in five tournaments. Alpha Puma, just like Tournament 20, failed getting into the second ledge. It was a little far on that first ledge. Such a shame. Nope. That spot. Oh, no. oh, what? I didn't back up enough. I, I was, I didn't back up enough. Tough break to see Alpha Puma go out like that. Well, as for last tournament, I slipped like a god loser, like a complete loser. Like it's so lame, so lame. I was so close. I should have cleared, but I was an idiot. As for this tournament, I'm just going in, balls to the walls, pedal to the metal. We roll hard all day, all night. Let's go, baby. The next all-star to run is the host of Halo Sasuke, Atlantic Champ. Formerly known as Chumpy, Atlantic has been competing on Spartan Sasuke since Tournament 5. His first clear came in Tournament 7, but his first major success came in Tournament 14, where he was the only person to attempt the third stage. In Tournament 19, he became the first person to attempt the current version of the final stage. His next two runs would result in fails on the Lunatic Cliffhanger. In Tournament 22, he became the first victim of the Hanging Hoops, but in the last tournament, his Stage 1 clear streak came to an end on the Rope Jungle. We're gonna beat the jumping spider, and then you're gonna beat the half pipe. Otherwise, I'm I... gonna mock you on the next podcast about it. That's okay. <laughs> you can mock me. I don't give a <laughs> sh. <laughs> Atlantic made it the furthest of those who failed stage one last tournament and would have loved to bounce back tonight. However, this first stage has been very tough for our competitors this tournament. But Atlantic is a guy known for overcoming pressure. Can he do it again in tournament 24? Atlantic Champ heading to the Globe Twist. Atlantic Champ was his first gamer tag. He then changed it to Chumpy, but now it's Atlantic Champ again, just without a space. Right now, Atlantic Champ heading into the Jumpy Spider. We just saw Puma go out here. Atlantic, he got through this obstacle last tournament. Can he do it again? Gets a good jump into that first ledge, heading into the second ledge, taking its time shooting that pistol. He is worried about this obstacle. Into the fourth ledge nicely. Fifth ledge, Atlantic Champ is out! Atlantic Champ cannot get into the fifth ledge of the Jumping Spider! Atlantic Champ, he hit the wall going down to the fifth ledge and it repels him back! Chumpy with a very shocking fail on the Jumping Spider! No! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Dang. Oh, you I had it. You sprint? Yeah. Well... You I was at the end waiting the for you. Pipe. You can't fail the half pipe if you can't get to it. I'm hey, Jumpy, we still love you. But then the jumping spider would go on a spree. Up next was Sonic Fan, the new star. He failed the jumping spider just like he did in his debut in Tournament 17. And then Soul Reaper 1025. He cleared Stage 1 for his first time last tournament. Failed getting into the second ledge of the Jumping Spider. The Jumping Spider has just claimed its 20th victim. This stage one's a lot different. I think this is a lot more difficult. Uh, this spider obviously is the most noticeable um, like obstacle that I think is going to take out a lot of people or has taken out a lot of people. But I'm also a little bit nervous of this half pipe as well. So, you know, I could 
you know, I've got a, I got a chance of clearing stage one. I feel reasonably confident, but I could definitely uh, have a slip up. So I'm just trying to keep focused and uh, we'll see if that gets me back to stage two. Next to take on the course is the longtime host of Ninja Warrior of Halo, Hunter Unit 751. Hunter had been the Hunter had the fastest time in the first tournament, and his personal best came in Tournament 4, one obstacle away from the final stage. After reaching the third stage again in Tournament 8, he wouldn't get back there until Tournament 17, going out on the plant bridge. After that, three of his next six runs would see him fail various, various versions of the Salmon Ladder. In Tournament 21, he overcame the second stage for his fourth time, however he would shockingly fail the Jumping Spider in Tournament 22. He overcame it and the first stage in the last tournament, but would suffer another fail at the hands of the Salmon Ladder. Hunter Unit 751 has gotten off to a good start here on Halo Infinite, but would love to take the next step today and get another shot at the third stage. But first, he must overcome this very difficult Stage 1. Only three people have beaten it so far, meaning we won't be seeing as many clears as we did last time. Can Hunter be the fourth to clear today? Hunter also recently failed Stage 1 in, in Halo Ninja Warrior 26, so could that be in the back of his mind? Hunter, he cannot let that get to him, as he's got a lot of pressure on him seeing just how brutal this course has been but now for the jumpy spider the last four competitors went out here hunter please do not be the fifth in a row he's inside the jumpy spider looking into the third ledge heading into the fourth ledge don't pull a chumpy hunter hunter yes he is through the jumpy spider on now to the half pipe attack an obstacle he is familiar with but not the grapple part that part is new for this obstacle Right now, Hunter Unit 751 looking to get this grapple. Hunter swings across nicely. And now for the warp wall, Hunter Unit 751 not able to get up the warp wall in one. Hopefully he can get up in two, which he does. Still got enough time for these last three obstacles. Up next is the Joust Clash. Hunter, ooh, bit of a weird dismount there. But he does get through this obstacle nevertheless. On now to the pit stop. He has never failed this obstacle. Please don't fail it this time. You are so close to the end of the stage. Please clear Hunter. You're so close. Less than 20 seconds for this last obstacle. The rope jungle. He's into the first rope nicely. Second rope. Third rope. The klaxon now sounds. With a few jumps left to go. Hunter. Cannot be too slow here, Hunter! Come on, Hunter! Yes! 1.6 seconds left on the clock. He did stall around a bit there at the end. That could have been tragic, but Hunter Unit 751 has cleared stage one for his 13th time. Hunter, well done. Able to clear stage one for the second tournament in a row. Hunter Unit 751, the fourth this tournament to move on to stage two. Well done. Five, four. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Oh. I did cut it a little closer to the shoot to get the end there. I didn't need to do that, but oh, Woo. come on. Yes. Uh, nothing too much has changed from last tournament. Uh, it's only up school three, and obviously you know half time attack is back. I never failed a half time attack when it was back here, so hopefully we fail it this time. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can start making a streak again, as it's something I apparently cannot do uh, as of recent years. But yeah, uh, let's go. Returning for his twenty-first appearance is the All Star Strafe Helix. Strafe made his debut in Tournament Four, where he beat the Crooked Wall. His first and biggest success came in Tournament 7, where he reached the final stage. Strafe would almost get back there in Tournament 8, but slipped on the pipe slider. Since then, Strafe has gotten deep into the third stage on multiple occasions. Notably, Strafe Helix has defeated the cliffhanger every time he's attempted it. 
The latest of these attempts came in Tournament 22, where he had a very close call on the obstacle. But in the last tournament, Strafe failed the second stage for only his third time going out on the hanging hoops. Now Strafe Helix returns for Tournament 24 looking to get to the third stage for his first time on Halo Infinite. Like Weapon Matt earlier, Strafe reached the final stage in Halo Ninja Warrior 25, meaning Strafe has the triple crown of reaching stage 4 on Spartan Sasuke, Ninja Warrior of Halo, and Halo Ninja Warrior. However, he's yet to take that next step to achieving total victory. Could this be the tournament where he goes all the way? It is a very long road to get there. Strafe Helix now running to the Jumping Spider. This has been a tough obstacle all tournament long. But can Strafe Helix get through it? Ooh, almost comes up short of that first sledge. But he is handling the inside of the Jumping Spider right now. Can he get the drop? Yes, he can. Strafe Helix on now to the half pipe attack. Strafe Helix, can he get the clean onto the bar? Almost comes up short, but a Strafe Helix is going to get this grapple. Got plenty of momentum for the drop. And now, minute left going into the warp wall. Strafe Helix, he does get up in one. Strafe Helix on now to the Joust Clash. Can he join his fellow, his fellow British All-Star? Hunter Unit 751 on the second stage. Ooh, struggling a bit here with this corner jump, but he does get it, get it nevertheless. Stray Felix on now to the pit stop. Stray Felix going into the second, going quickly here on the pit stop. Gets a safe jump on the fourth one, heading into the fifth one. Stray Felix on now to the last obstacle, the rope jungle. Stray Felix looking to clear stage one for his 12th time. He's got one more rope left to go. Come on, Strafe. Strafe, he's got it. 12.9 seconds left for Strafe Helix as he becomes the fifth competitor this tournament to clear stage one. Well done, Strafe Helix. Another fantastic run from this British All-Star. He had failed the Jumping Spider multiple times in the past. Bit of a close call today and here on the corner jump of the Joust Clash, but he does make it through and he'll be moving on to the second stage. What was that, what was that Hunter? What was that Hunter? Was I, I, take all, I take all responsibility for this success. I take all glory. Oh, take nah, you all... said I was going to fail. You <laughs> well said I was going to fail. Well done, man. <laughs> Uh, I I don't really expect a stage one. Uh, I didn't get a lot of practice beforehand, and I actually just cl cleared in practice like six minutes ago. So <laughs> yeah. The next competitor to run is the new star, Sunny Side Splash. Sunny made his debut in Tournament 20, where he made it deep into the first stage. Sunny would then reach the third stage in just his second appearance. But in Tournament 22, he did the unthinkable, and reached the final stage even though he slipped very early on the tower. In the last tournament, Sunny almost reached the third stage, but would fall victim to the Domino Hill. Sunny Side Splash has notably become the first competitor on any jumping course to fail all four stages throughout their first four appearances. The only thing he's missing is a total victory but he wasn't feeling confident going into this tournament. So this will be a big test for Sunny as a new star to see if he can overcome the pressure. He needs to dig deep with his skills if he wants to clear. Sunny Side Splash, this has been a tough course all tournament long, but can he get through just like he did many times? The last time he failed stage one was in his debut in tournament 20. Hopefully Sunny can get clear number four. Sunny, on now to the jumping spider. Sunny is gonna take his time here. He gets a very good jump going into the first ledge, almost overshoots it. But Sunny side splash looking into the fourth ledge. Now for the fifth ledge, Sunny side splash on now to the half pipe attack. He was very worried about this obstacle. Can Sunny side splash get through it? He's on to the pull. 
And can he get the grapple? Oh, that was a very close call there, but he is able to save it. What a save by Sunny Side Splash. Ooh, does get up it in Warp Wall. Does get up to Warp Wall in one. He is a bit shaken though. He cannot let that get to him. He needs to get through. On now to the Joust Flash. He is into the ledge nicely. Can he get the corner jump? Yes, he can. He's got 30 seconds left. He's got time for these last two obstacles, but he needs to make it count. He's on to the pit stop. He's taking his time. He's avoiding the cones. Taking a bit more time on that second one. He does go for the cone on the third one, but he is starting to run low on time. He does need to move. 12 seconds now for the rope jungle. He needs to make it up. Plaques and sounds. It's a race against the clock. Sunny side splash. Needs to hustle here on the rope jungle. Sunny, come on. No. Sunny side splash is out of time. Sunny side splash misses the end by four tenths of a second. Sunny side splash. No. He was so close to clearing the first stage. It was a near disaster here on the half pipe attack, but somehow was able to engage his grapple. He was a bit shaken up after getting up the warp wall, but he was just simply too slow and runs out of time on the first stage. That's such a shame to see Sunny go out like that. No way. I, I can't believe this. Did I make Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, next uh, time, that buddy. is awful. Uh, I'm so awful. sorry, Sunny. Sunny Side Splash will not be moving on. And that brings us down to five competitors left to go. Up next, the new star Patrillo Fam 4. Patrillo was one of five competitors to reach the third stage last tournament. He got third place, but would fail getting into the second blade of the Blade Hopper. Patrillo Fam 4 has been to the final stage in Tournament 20, and Patrillo looking to get some more success here in Tournament 24. Patrillo has been on a clear streak here on the first stage. Today he is looking to clear Stage 1 for his sixth tournament in a row. It would be nice to see him clear again, but this has been a tough stage. Patrillo is on to the Jumping Spider, the obstacle he failed in his debut. Patrillo gets a nice jump into that first ledge, quickly into it as well. Patrillo taking a much more cautious approach here on the inside of the Jumping Spider, taking a lot of safe jumps. He cannot be too slow as we just saw from Sunny Side Splash earlier. He cannot afford to time up like him. Patrillo, another close call on that pole in the half pipe attack. But Patrillo gets the grapple here and has got less than a minute heading towards the warp wall. Patrillo Fam 4 is up the warp wall in one. On now to the Joust Flash. Patrillo Fam 4, can he get the dismount? Yes, he can. He gets the safe jump and the corner jump as well. It's got 40 seconds, a lot more time than Sunny. Patrillo, he can afford to take. Take some time here on the pit stop, and that's exactly what he's going to do here. Taking some safe jumps here on the first two. Taking another safe jump, he's using the tires to safe jump onto the cones. It's a smart strategy, and he goes straight for the cone on the fifth one. He is down to 15 seconds, though. Cannot waste too much time. Patrillo Fan 4, he does have the time. Splacks and sounds into the fourth rope. Can he get through Patrillo Fam? Yes, he can. 3.7 seconds left for Patrillo Fam 4. And for the sixth tournament in a row, Patrillo Fam 4 is moving on to the second stage. Well done, Patrillo. He is the sixth this tournament to clear stage one. Patrillo was a bit of a close, bit of a slight close call on the jumping spider, but he does get into the ledge. It was an even closer call here on half pipe attack. But it doesn't matter, Patrillo Fan 4 is moving on to the second stage. Congratulations. Uh, I gotta say, 
Um, I've never been more nervous on an obstacle than I am about this jumping spider. I feel like I got arachnophobia over here. It is a very tough obstacle, especially this version of it with the whole new bouncer and stuff. Um, I, uh, I gotta get lucky to beat this stage. I really don't feel that confident, but, you know, I just gotta pull through. Gotta keep pushing. The last of the new stars to run is Joey Davis. Joey made his debut in Tournament 19, going out on Mix and Match. During the break before Tournament 20, Joey would hone in his skills, and it paid off as he reached a bar glider. Then in Tournament 21, he got closer than any other competitor to achieving total victory since Tournament 13, but would miss it by less than a second. He missed Tournament 22, but returned in the last tournament, where he once again reached the third stage, going out on the Ultra Lunatic Cliffhanger. Regardless of what you may think of him, he has undoubtedly become one of Jumping's most skilled competitors over the last two years, and he won't rest until he's at the top of the tower as a Grand Champion. One thing I do want to mention is that Joey Davis isn't his current gamer tag. Right now, it's like Vayna or Linia or whatever it may be now. He has a bad habit of changing his gamer tag all the time, so from now on, we're just going to call him Joey Davis because how he was known when he joined back in 2020. We call him Joey on Xbox, but enough of that. Joey is heading to the Jumping Spider. He was really worried about this, but can Joey get into the first ledge? Yes, he can, and quickly into the second ledge. Joey Davis, can he get the drop? Yes, he can. Joey is running to the half pipe attack. Joey Davis is into the bar. Can he get through? Bit of a low grapple, but Joey Davis, he is able to get through. He had a broken arm last tournament, or a broken wrist, more specifically, last tournament, but that pain is gone this tournament, so hopefully he can get even further today. Right now, Joey Davis he heading into the corner jump with the Joust Clash. He's got 45 seconds left. Joey Davis... Two obstacles remaining from clearing again. Ooh, bit of a close call here with this safe jump, but Joey gets a nice save jump here on the pit stop. It's another one. He's being very cautious here on the pit stop. Nothing wrong with that as at all. Joey Davis has usually been known for going fast, but today he's taking a much slower, much more careful approach. But nothing wrong with that at all, at all, as Joey Davis is gonna clear stage one again. With 9.7 seconds remaining, Joey Davis clears stage one for his fourth appearance in a row. Nicely done, Joey Davis. Once again, moving on to the second stage. He may not be the speed demon he was once known as, but... He does get through the first stage, and he'll be moving on once again to the second stage. Well done, Joey Davis. Well, uh, 20 appearances, uh, it's amazing. It's uh, kind of a surprise I've been around uh, this long. I'm hoping that I can do good, maybe not, probably not matching my performance last time. But I hope I can at least do good, but I'm not going to have any expectations for this tournament. The sixth competitor to reach their 20th appearance on Spartan Sasuke is the host of Spartan Ninja Warrior, Flamosaurus. Flame has been around since Tournament 1, and in Tournament 3, he reached the second stage for his first time. In Tournament 7, Flame reached Stage 3 for the first time and has not missed a tournament since. After getting first place in Tournament 12, Flame was crowned an All-Star. In Tournament 15, he was just one of three competitors to sit the cargo net of the Rolling Jump as the only one of those three this tournament to compete. After finally overcoming the cliffhanger in Tournament 19, he took his skills to the next level and reached the final stage in Tournament 20. He would suffer a very shocking failure on the Jumping Spider in Tournament 21, but has gotten to the third stage in both of the next two tournaments. He fell the cliffhanger again in Tournament 22, but in the last tournament, he wouldn't even get that far going out on the Blade Hopper. Flame was on defense of whether or not he'd be in this tournament, 
but today he joins an elite group of competitors that have made 20 or more appearances on Spartan Sasuke. Flame would love to make this tournament a memorable one, so let's see if he can continue his success here in Tournament 24. Flamosaurus, this is such a big run. He was not confident at all, but that's how he usually feels going into these runs, but he has overcome pressure time and time again. Hopefully today will be another one of those days. Flamosaurus, on now to the Jumping Spider. This is where he failed back in Tournament 21. Can he get through it today? Flamosaurus heading to the Jumping Spider. Flame comes up short of the first ledge! Flamosaurus, just like Tournament 21, goes out on the Jumping Spider and on his 20th appearance too! No, Flame! That is not what we wanted to see at all! Flamosaurus, that is such a shocker! But Flame, he was too far on the trampoline when he jumped, and he could not get the height he needed. He needed to jump much earlier than that. It's a, it's a tough jump, but Flame is out on the jumping spider. Damn it. God. Well, I mean, there's really not much to say. I just had my technique and I didn't do it right. So the jumping spider bites me again. Hopefully it's not poisonous. Uh, maybe it is and I'm just cursed to keep failing this thing. So uh, if that's the case, can someone please win soon so I never have to deal with this ever again? But it's, yeah, it's just a shame that appearance 20, I hoped to at least do something good. And then this happens. 21's a cooler number anyways. Flame, hopefully tournament 25 will be better. I'm really excited to be back for Spartan Sasuke. It's always uh, a joy to compete on this course. Last tournament was... A nice way to start off Infinite with the Stage 1 clear. Obviously, I was disappointed to fail Stage 2, but now the pressure's on again. I gotta focus up on Stage 1. I know I can do it. There's some tough obstacles here. It's a little tougher than last time, but if I, uh, you know, just really focus on my little techniques that I have for all these obstacles, I think I should be alright, and hopefully I'll be back on Stage 2. The next last competitor to run Stage 1 is the host of Halo Ninja Warrior, Smokey Massacre. Smokey is one of only two competitors to have competed in every single tournament of Spartan Sasuke. He got to the third stage in four of the first five tournaments. But despite early exits in tournaments 6 and 7, Smokey Massacre would achieve total victory in tournament 8. After that, his spree of success continued getting first place again in tournaments 9 through 11. After a hiccup on Stage 1 in Tournament 12, Smokey got total victory again in Tournament 13, becoming the first competitor to beat the final stage twice on the same course. Smokey Massacre has an ongoing Stage 1 clear streak of 8 clears in a row. Six of these runs saw him reach the third stage in Tournament 17 through 22. In Tournament 22, he came one jump short of reaching the final stage but in the last tournament, he failed the second stage for only his second time going out on the hanging hoops. Now, for Smokey Massacre, Spartan Sasuke's most skilled and accomplished competitor, a record is on the line. If he can clear the first stage again here in Tournament 24, he will tie Swantron 97's Stage 1 clear streak of 9 clears in a row. That streak came in Tournaments 5 through 13, now, Smokey, Smokey Massacre wishes to match that record with Tournament 16 for 24. However, I'd be willing to take a guess that this is the last thing on Smokey's mind right now. Smokey is a guy who always takes things one obstacle at a time and can add it up to success with such perfection. There's a reason Smokey has reached the success he's had over 11 years of jumping. Will we see more of that smoky magic tonight? If we do, he is going to need to get through this jumping spider. We just saw Flame go out here and 20 other competitors before him. 
Smokey, don't be another one. This is where his personal worst came in Tournament 7. But Smokey Massacre is through the Jumpy Spider. And on now to the half pipe attack. Another obstacle he's failed way long in the past. But can he get the grapple? Smokey Massacre gets a very good grapple. Smokey Massacre heading to the warp wall. Smokey, he does get up the warp wall in one. Now for the Joust Clash. You beat this last tournament. Let's see if he can do it again. Smokey Massacre gets into the ledge nicely and wraps around for the corner jump. Smokey Massacre's got plenty of time heading into the pit stop. Looking to tie Swan's record. He's two obstacles away. Smokey Massacre. Ooh, a bit of a late jump off that third one. It's a bit of a close call. But Smokey is through the pit stop. And now one obstacle away from completing stage one. Rope Jungle, Smokey Massacre, he can smell the record! He's so close, Smokey Massacre is going to tie the Stage 1 clear streak! And does so with 16.6 .6 seconds remaining on the clock! Smokey Massacre has done it! Has become only the second competitor to clear Stage 1, 9 tournaments in a row, and does so for his 18th time overall on Spartan Sasuke. Yes, yes, yes. Smokey Massacre, a run for the history books, will get a shot of revenge on the second stage. I feel just as confident as every other tournament. Um, I put in a, a decent amount of practice for this one. Um, the obstacle behind me, um, the global warming, I'm a little, little worried about. Um, it's just getting that jump to the bar to get the uh, the grapple. But I feel if, if I can get to that and I can get through it, um, I'm definitely going to see myself on stage two. Um, but we'll take it one obstacle at a time and see what happens. The final competitor to run stage one in tournament 24 is the grand champion of Halo Ninja Warrior, Fireball ZXZ. Like the host of H&W, Fireball has competed in every tournament of Spartan Sasuke. Fireball has shown tremendous amount of skills in the nine years he's been jumping. In Tournament 8, Fireball reached the final stage but was the bridesmaid to Smokey Massacre's first total victory. In Tournament 11, he failed the final jump of the third stage but wouldn't get back to the third stage until Tournament 16. In the last eight tournaments, Fireball has reached Stage 3 seven times. His worst Stage 3 run came in Tournament 20 where he failed the first ledge of the Lunatic Cliffhanger. In Tournament 22, Fireball got back to the final stage but once again was too slow to reach the top in time. Last tournament, Fireball would go out on the Ultra Lunatic Cliffhanger. Just like the first tournament on Halo 5, Fireball got first place in the first tournament on Halo Infinite. When it comes to raw skill, Fireball is one of the greatest jumpers of all time. Last tournament, Fireball cleared stage 1 with 35 seconds on the clock, setting the fastest ever clear time since Hunter Unit 751's 37 second clear in tournament 1. You know he's gonna go fast, do not blink or else you might miss Fireball. The final run here on stage 1 here in tournament 24. Looking to be the ninth competitor this tournament to move on. We will not be having double digit clears for the first time since tournament 15, which that on its own is shocking. But right now, Fireball hoping to at least make it nine clears here in the first stage in tournament 24. Right now, Fireball taking a bit of time going into the jumping spider, but is heading quickly for the rest of the obstacle. Fireball got 80 seconds going into the half pipe attack. I told you he'd go fast. Fireball gets a nice jump. Can he get the grapple hook? Fireball, yes he can. He was really worried about the half pipe attack, but he does overcome it. On now to the warp wall. He's going to jump straight into it and he's up in one. He's still got a whole minute left for the last three obstacles. On now to the joust flash. Fireball gets out of the mongoose. Gets a quick jump into that corner jump. Fireball, will he full send the pit stop? Was there any doubts? Fireball heading quickly through the pit stop. Still got 40 seconds left. Probably not going to be as fast as his clear in the last tournament. 
but he's well on pace for sending the fastest time here in Tournament 24, and he's gonna do so with 29.4 seconds remaining on the clock. Fireball has done it once again. Fireball has cleared Stage 1 for his 5th tournament in a row, and his 16th time overall. Fireball, the Speed Demon, is moving back on to the second stage. Showed absolute perfection throughout the entirety of Stage 1, and once again, he will be moving on. And now it is time for the Spartan Slayer. The honors this tournament goes to the first obstacle, the Golden Link. All 100 Spartans that competed this tournament began their journey with this obstacle. Before a quarter of the field, the first obstacle marked the end of the road. An honorable mention goes to the Jumping Spider that took out 21 Spartans, nearly 50% of the competitors that attempted it. But the Spartan Slayer goes to the obstacle that takes out the most competitors and this tournament, it was the Golden Link. Better luck to these 25 in the future. And thus we come to the end of the first stage. 100 competitors tried, however for the first time since the total defeat in Tournament 15, the first stage ended with single digit clears. 9 Spartans are moving on. Halo Fan and Eternal Flame will be attempting the second stage for the first time. They are joined by Weapon Mat. Hunter Unit 751, Strafe Helix, Patrillo Fan 4, Joey Davis, Smoky Massacre, and Fireball ZXZ. For this brave band of nine, the journey in Tournament 24 has only begun. Now they must face an even tougher challenge on Stage 2. Honestly, the Hanging Hoops is the obstacle I'm most worried about. I haven't cleared it that much in practice, but even when I did, I failed the very next obstacle. Stage 1 was really nice. I honestly thought it was going to fail the last obstacle, but it didn't end up happening. I mean, it feels nice to be here 10 Stage 2 appearances after, you know, what happened there in the middle of Halo 5. I definitely don't think I would have ever gotten to this number, and honestly, not seeing this course until running it, I'm happy to get to Stage 2. No way, and no chance I'm beating this stage, but hoping to put a semi-decent effort through, so we'll see what happens in this. Well, um, as always, happy to be on Stage 2. Uh, always clearing stage one is a nice feeling, especially with this stage one. It's a lot tougher this time around. But, you know, I've said it in the past, my stage two record isn't, hasn't been great for whatever reason. I just have had a lot of struggles on this course. Um, eight fails out of 12. And I seem to, for whatever reason, have developed a, uh, a ladder phobia with this uh, salmon ladder. Salmonella poisoning. Um, yeah, this salmon ladder, this is pretty tough. I could fail it again here, but... You know, if I do, it's going to suck, but I know I can get past it. Um, yeah, I just want to, I guess really my goal is just to try and get a little bit further than I did last time. And, and hopefully that can mean at least beating the Salmon Ladder. Uh, pretty good. Uh, hopefully I can just, uh, well, get past the, well, get to the rings first. Before, I need to get to the rings first before I focus on getting past it. So, yeah, hopefully I can uh, do that and uh, hopefully get past uh, everything else to uh, the third stage for the first time in, uh, well, 19. No, 21. Wait, no, 22. <laughs> About the same as last time, to be frank with you, because I didn't do a lot of practice for this tournament, so beating stage one on my first try was actually a, a nice relief, made me feel pretty good. Uh, stage 2, not a lot to change from last time, but I do feel it's very difficult, and I don't think I'm going to fluke my way through like I did in the previous tournament, because I'm not going to lie, beating Stage 2 last time, I kind of fluked through it, but I, I, I don't think that's going to happen again. But you never know, that's that's why we play the game, you know, you, 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 to see what happens. Uh, going into Stage 2, I feel a little bit better than Stage 1, not much. The Salmon Ladder those rings and the last obstacle are what I'm most worried about. They're three really tough obstacles, but 
like I did in stage one, just gonna have to pull through and keep pushing. Well, coming off of the last tournament when I failed stage two for only the second time in my career, obviously, uh, you know, throughout even like Hunter's course and now your course, I've, I've kind of always prided myself on uh, stage two. So I really want to get back to stage three and put up a good performance today. But yeah, those hanging hoops, man, I failed the last tournament and there's every possibility that I could fail it again today. Uh, it really comes down to getting my feet in the right place and getting the jump at the right time. I want to say last tournament, I kind of rushed it going from the second to the third one. So I guarantee you today, if I get there and I land on that second one, I will be stopping and resetting my feet. So hopefully it all works out. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, 16 times is, is a pretty, pretty nice achievement. I wish it could be a little bit more. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, there's a few obstacles that I just need to take slow. Um, and not try to rush too much. I like to go fast, um, but I definitely could see myself on stage three and uh, see what happens. The second stage of Spartan Saste 24. Our nine remaining Spartans must face six obstacles, including a new obstacle to end the stage. This stage proved to be very tough on our competitors last turn tournament, and tonight it is set for more bloodshed. First to go will be Halo Fan, taking on Stage 2 for his first time. He'll have 80 seconds to complete Stage 2, 5 seconds shorter than, than last tournament, and it begins with the box office. Halo Fan gets a safe jump on the third box, looking into the fourth one, gets another safe jump, and Halo Fan is through the first obstacle. On now to the triple salmon ladder. Halo Fan not quite able to get up to the second bar. He is taking a forward approach. It's not really recommended, but he does get a safe jump off that fourth bar. Does hit his head a bit, but Halo Fan is through the triple salmon ladder and now for the double compressor. Halo Fan gets into the second compressor nicely, and he's got 40 seconds heading into the hanging hoops. This obstacle took out four competitors last tournament, including Smokey Massacre. Halo Fan gets a nice safe jump on that second hoop. Can he do the same for the third one? No, he does not get a jump. Halo Fan has become another victim of the hanging hoops. Now, on now to Eternal Flame 395, also taking on stage two for his first time. Will he avenge Halo Fan on the hanging hoops? He's got to get there first. Let's see how he does here on the box office. Well, he's taking a much quicker approach than Halo Fan did. And Eternal Flame is going to attempt the Triple Salmon Ladder. He is facing the side. That is a bit recommended so you can see more of the bar when you're going up. But Eternal Flame is quickly for the Triple Salmon Ladder. On out to the Double Compressor. Got a lot more time than Halo Fan did by about 10 seconds. But can he get through the Hanging Hoops? This obstacle dreaded by so many competitors but eternal flame he gets into the third hoop nicely eternal flame on now to the omega ring it's two obstacles away from completing the stage eternal flame misses the omega ring eternal flame becomes the first person to fail the omega ring he was able to get through the hanging hoops but miss aims on the omega ring swung it too wide and is not able to recover. But a good run from him nevertheless. But now we move on to Weapon Mat. Weapon Mat has completed this stage three times before. Can he do so here on Infinite? Weapon Mat. On to the box office. An obstacle he's never attempted before considering he's missed the last tournament. Weapon Mat has been to the third stage on each of his previous two appearances. But now he is ascending through the triple salmon ladder. He's into the second set nicely. And now the third set. Ooh, not able to get up to that last bar, but does so now. Now for the double compressor. Weapon Mat is into the second compressor and through the third obstacle. On now to the hanging hoops. He beat this a couple tournaments ago. Let's see if he can do it again. Weapon Mat not able to get into the second hoop. Weapon Mat is out on the hanging hoops. Did not get a very good jump off that first one. It's all about getting the jump off. 
and he just couldn't quite reach the second hoop. Ah, such a shame to see him go out there. But now we move on to our fourth competitor, Hunter Unit 751, and we're still looking for our first clear. And there is Snaz wishing him good luck, just like he did on the first stage. Hunter is slicing that sword, that's his usual intro whenever he runs courses. Hunter Unit 751 has had a bit of bad luck with the Salmon Ladder in particular. That's where he failed in the last tournament. Hunter Unit 751, he's gonna get another attempt at it. Come on, Hunter! He's into the first bar. That jump into the first bar has been nerfed since last tournament. It is closer than it was in tournament 23. Right now, Hunter Unit gets the safe jump, but Hunter once again! Out on the triple salmon ladder! What is it with the, him and this obstacle? It's like he said in his interview, Salmonella poisoning! And that's exactly what happened. And it's once again the fourth bar. It's always these sort of transitions that get him. Hunter, no! Ooh. Oh, come oh. on, dude! Oh, no. This ladder. The triple salmon ladder once again claims Hunter Unit 751. And from one British All Star to the next, we have Straight Helix. Straight Helix. Failed stage 2 like Hunter in the last tournament, but he did get a little fervor going out on the hanging hoops. Strafe would love to avenge Hunter on the salmon ladder and his fail in the last tournament, but no one has cleared the second stage left and we only have 5 competitors left. If Strafe Helix doesn't clear, then we could be in a bit of danger of not seeing the third stage. It has not happened since tournament 15. And the last time a tournament ended on stage 2 was tournament 6. But Strafe is determined to get back there. He's, he usually doesn't fail stage 2s. But last tournament he only failed it for his third time. And now for the obstacle he failed in the last tournament. The Handy Hoops. Strafe Helix gets into the second hoop. Can he get into the third hoop? Strafe Helix. Yes he can. He gets the slide. And Strafe Helix has got 30 seconds left going into the Mega Ring. Now, Strafe Helix gets a safe jump on the old Mega Ring. Strafe will be the first to attempt the new Combo Cross. It begins with this grapple jump. You gotta swing across to the platform, and then it is added with a Repulsor jump. You have to look down and jump and repulse at the same time. Strafe Helix is through the second stage. With 5.7 seconds remaining on the clock, Strafe Helix is the first competitor of this tournament to move on to the third stage. Nicely done, Strafe Helix. He overcame the obstacle he failed in the last tournament and the new combo cross to move on. Well done, Strafe. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Stop making that dumb noise. Well, hopefully that success from Stray Helix will give our remaining competitors some confidence here to get through the second stage. Up next is Patrillo Fan 4, a competitor who completed the second stage last tournament. Can he do it again in tournament 24? Patrillo Fam 4 is heading through the box office. Dismounts the obstacle and now for the triple salmon ladder. Patrillo Fam, who struggling to get up to that second bar, but he does get up it now. Looking into the second set, he's into the fifth bar. Sixth bar, looking into the seventh bar on the third set. And the eighth bar. Patrillo Fam 4 on out to the double compressor where he failed a couple tournaments ago. Patrillo Fam 4 is heading through and has completed his old nemesis. Now for the hanging hoops. It gave him no troubles last tournament. Can he do it again? Patrol does not get a jump! Patrol of Fam 4 gets struck down by the hanging hoops. Even though he beat it last tournament, tonight it takes him out. He does not get a jump off the first hoop and cannot reach the second hoop of the hanging hoops. Ah, it's so tough. Ah. Didn't get a jump. 
And the Haney Hoops claiming another shocking failure this tournament. Which brings us down to three competitors left to join Straight Helix on the third stage. Next up is Joey Davis, the guy who got second place in the last tournament, got all the way to the cliffhanger. Let's see if Joey can do it again here in Tournament 24. Joey Davis has never failed the second stage on Spartan Sasuke. Would love to keep that streak going here in Tournament 24. Right now, Joey Davis attempting the Triple Salmon Ladder. Gets into the fourth bar, heading quickly up the second set. Joey Davis heading to the Double Compressor. Joey into the second compressor nicely. Joey Davis onto the hanging hoops. We just saw his fellow new star Petrillo go out here. Don't fall victim, Joey. Come on. He gets a safe jump on the second hoop. Looking for that third hoop, taking his time. Joey Davis gets a safe jump as well on the third hoop. Joey Davis, 30 seconds heading into the Omega Ring. Can Joey get through this obstacle? Joey. Gonna go straight for the dismount and now for the combo cross with less than 20 seconds left on the clock. Joey is gonna get the grapple jump. And now for the repulsor, he goes straight for it. And he comes up short! Joey Davis is out on the final jump of the second stage. Going out on the combo cross. He goes he went straight for the jump, and he jumped way too late and could not get the height he needed with the Repulsor. And let's compare that to Strafe Helix's run earlier. He times his jump much earlier and is able to get more height, but Joey, he goes straight for it and jumps too late, and that combo cost him. Ah, Joey, no. What? No. Oh. Oh, um, dang. Joey Davis out on stage two for the first time. And now we have only two competitors left to go. Next up is Smoky Massacre. Smoky Massacre failed stage two for only his second time last tournament going out on the hanging hoops. He's getting his good luck from Snaz as Smoky gets ready to run again. Smoky Massacre. Looking to clear stage 2 for his 16th time on Spartan Sasuke. Smoky Master, he set the he tied the stage 1 st clear streak, sorry. Earlier this tournament, he could potentially set a new one next tournament, but right now he's got to focus on this very tough second stage. But the obstacle that has not been too tough for our competitors yet, the double compressor, is gonna get beaten by Smoky Master. Time for revenge! Can Smoky get through the hanging hoops? He failed getting into the third hoop last tournament. This is the jump! Come on, Smoky! Smoky's got the hanging hoops this time! Nicely done! Smoky Massacre on now to the Omega Ring. He's got 30 seconds left. He's gonna get the safe jump on the right chain. Smoky Massacre, last obstacle, the combo cross. We just saw Joey Davis go out here. You cannot take this final obstacle for granted. But Smoky Massacre, he stops for the Repulsor Jump, gets a very early jump, and makes it up with 12.8 seconds remaining. Smoky Massacre has done it again. He's captured that, that Smoky Magic once again. Moving on to Stage 2 for the 16th time on Spartan Sasuke. He gets his revenge on the hanging hoops, which took him out in Tournament 24, and he overcomes the jump that Joey shockingly failed just earlier. Well done, Smoky Massacre. And that brings us to our final competitor here on Stage 2, Fireball CHC. There is Joey and Snaz wishing Fireball good luck before his run. Fireball got first place in both the previous two tournaments. Would love to do it for third tournament in a row, but he has to clear a stage two again here. Fireball, the last time he failed stage two was back in tournament 14. <clears throat> Would love to keep his string of success alive. Right now, Fireball, who's struggling to get up to the fifth bar, but a good recovery by Fireball here on the triple salmon ladder. 
We will never slip up going to the 8th bar, but Fireball is into the double compressor. This is the obstacle he did fail in Tournament 14, but Fireball is able to get through. On now to the Hanging Hoops. He's beaten this in both the previous two tournaments. Fireball going quickly into the third hoop. Fireball misses the third hoop! Fireball ZNC is out on the Hanging Hoops! Fireball! What a shocking fail! I am completely stunned! I'm in complete disbelief right now. Fireball, he did what Chumpy did in Tournament 22 and hits the side of the hoop. Ah, no! Nope, I didn't get the jump. He's undone. Oh, no. That sucks. That was Smokey last tournament. This tournament is Fireball. Bad times. Everyone. Stunned right now, the Haney Hoops have taken over the second stage. And with that, only two Spartans will be moving on to the third stage. To simply say this tournament has been a bloodbath is an understatement. Stray Felix and Smoky Massacre has just overcome one of the most difficult stage twos in the history of Spartan Sasuke. Now they must face the Gauntlet of Hell, that is Stage 3. Will we see the final stage in Spartan Sasuke 24? Let's find out. Um, I'm, obviously, I'm obviously known for beating cliffhangers, so I would obviously like to keep that streak. Um, but yeah, since it's a new game, um, please don't have any expectations. It feels great to be back on stage three, especially my first time being on stage three in Halo Infinite. But man, uh, this is a rough stage. Having practiced it, I right now my goal is just to get to the cliffhanger. I will be very happy if I can manage that. In the past, I feel like my goal has always been to obviously defeat stage three. But I, I honestly haven't even touched any obstacle after the cliffhanger, and I've barely even touched the cliffhanger itself. So. This is, uh, it's going to be rough, not going to lie. I'm just hoping that I can at least beat the third obstacle. 98 Spartans have fallen. Now only two remain to take on the third stage. They are our only hope to carry this tournament through to the final stage. But they must face the eight trials of hell here on the third stage. First up is Strafe Helix, getting good luck from his fellow British All-Star, Hunter Unit 751. Both Strafe and Spoti have beaten the third stage in the past, but they must overcome this brutal third stage. It is very tough, and it begins with the first of eight obstacles, the Drum Hopper. Strafe Helix attempted it way back in Tournament 16 and a few times before that. Strafe Helix would love to get through the Drum Hopper again. Get off to a strong start here on the third stage, and he's through. On now to the Globe Grasp, the obstacle that took out Ump Double Ump last tournament, who sadly did not compete this time, but Straight Helix is into the third globe. Looking into the fourth globe, this obstacle has been made easier since last tournament. The globes are much closer than they were in tournament 23, so, but you cannot take it for granted. And he's going to get a safe jump on the 6th and final globe, eyeing down the dismount, and Strafe Helix is through, the globe, in, is through the globe grasp. On now to the Blade Hopper. He gets into the first of 12 bars. 6 going up, 6 going down. Strafe into the second bar. This was a very tough obstacle last tournament. Only two competitors got through it last tournament. Strafe Helix looking to become the third to beat the Blade Hopper. He's got two, two left going up. Strafe is into the fifth bar. One more left for Strafe Helix. Can he get the jump into the sixth bar? Strafe, yes he can. Now must transition across to the seventh bar. Looking carefully, Strafe Helix is into the seventh bar. And now must go down to the eighth bar. These are very tough drops. Strafe Helix overshoots the drop down to the eighth bar. 
Strafe Helix is out on the Blade Hopper. Had a little too much momentum going into the eighth bar and just slightly overshoots it. If he just pulled back just a little, he would have had that drop. Okay, which school was the. If we're counting skulls to like ledges no, here, what no, skulls would no, no, no. it be? They're not skulls. I don't no. think. Doesn't count. Stop thinking oh like my, that. Oh, what? No. Are you uh, kidding me? Fast. I would look away. What just happened? Too fast. He was like, thinking about skulls and how bad he is. And now he's one of them. Uh, a bit of a bad mindset may have cost him here as well. But with that, we are down to the last man standing. Only one competitor is left to potentially reach the final stage this tournament. And it is Smokey Massacre. And if his interview is anything to go by... He is not feeling that confident about this third stage, but we'd love to at least see the cliffhanger of this tournament. If he fails before that, that would be such a tragedy. But Smokey Master must do what he can to get deep into the stage and hopefully carry this tournament onto the final stage. It may not be looking good now, but Smokey Master has got to pull through. Smokey has been in this position a lot of times in the past where he is the last competitor to run. In Smokey, this tournament, it's no different. He's now into the Globe Grasp. And into the third one. He had a bit of a famous moment on the Globe Grasp in Ninja Warrior of Halo 14 where he technically did the obstacle three times, but I really doubt Smokey's going to do that this time, and he's not. He's... Now on to the Blade Hopper where we just saw Strafe Helix go out. This is the make or break obstacle for this tournament. Come on, Smokey Massacre, please do not fail it. He's looking into the third bar. Gets into the third bar nicely. Looking into the fourth bar. Two more left going up for Smokey Massacre. Looking into the fifth bar. Smokey cannot get into the fifth bar! Tournament 24 is over! Smokey Massacre could not defeat the Blade Hopper, and not a single competitor could even reach the Cliffhanger! That is such a tragedy and comes to show just how brutal this third stage is. Game and over. like that, it is game over. All 100 competitors are out. I'll be honest. I don't. It, I know I failed to jump, obviously, but the, you know, thinking about the question, like what went wrong in that obstacle, I, there's nothing I can say to that. Those jumps are all so hard that like, I try to do the jumps the same way every time, and I obviously failed it. So I don't know what I did. <laughs> like, I don't know what exactly happened to cause me to fail in that particular instance, but I just know that I gotta lock down a technique for that obstacle in the future because I do not have a good technique right now, and it's, uh, yeah, it's very challenging, so I'm not at all surprised to fail where I failed. I'm glad I got to stage three, but yeah, uh, obviously I've failed early on stage three before, so this isn't new to me, but next tournament is just all gonna be about obviously trying to get back here and hopefully trying to get some revenge. And with that, we come to the end of Tournament 24. 100 Spartans came in hoping to build on the runs from the first Halo Infinite tournament. However, all 100 failed in brutal fashion. For only the third time in Spartan Sasuke, not a single competitor could even attempt the cliffhanger. Had Strafe or Smokey defeated the Bladehopper, they would have needed to face five more obstacles on the third stage. The Ultra Lunatic Cliffhanger, the Body Wedge, the Pirate Hooks, the Iron Thrones, and the Flying Bar. All these obstacles and those on the final stage will have to wait till later to be attempted. Will you be the one to face these obstacles next tournament? I'm RPG445, and we'll see you this fall for Tournament 25. Farewell, everyone.